Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. I hope you all are surviving this heat. And I find that the best way to stay cool is to keep on rolling. Anyway, um, I have here my 18 by 24 gel plate. And I will start by applying a first layer of dark colors. And I have here Blicrylic Mars Black. So I will just do it directly on the plate. And instead of a brayer, I will use my color shaper. I find that it makes very interesting modulations. By manipulating the movements of the color shaper, I can create all these textures and you don't need any fancy equipment or special tools Okay, so those are my first marks in black. I uh, will air dry this first. Uh, I won't air dry it completely, but I want it to be dry enough that when I put the second layer of lighter colors, they won't smear into each other too much. There'll be some of it, but not too much. So uh, that's what my plan is. So I'm using my overhead fan this time. Okay, I will start by putting some raw sienna. This is also blicrylic. Bl Um, this is peach pink. I want to introduce some lighter shades here. And some phthalo green. So this will be a, an interesting combination. Okay. 
going to start with the light color first. So the configuration of this piece is not unlike a quilt where you have alternating alternating directions of horizontal and vertical. kind of break up the monotony of the layer, give some kind of movement. And again, I am using my Richardson paper now since I'm trying to pick up two layers at the same time I am applying a sufficient amount of pressure with my hand Now, some artists like to use a barren or a piece of glass or wood. You use whatever you are comfortable with or whatever you have around the house. Okay, I will leave this on for about five to six minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's see how we did here. Let me just make sure that my hands are clean. I like the textures of the black. I like the very slight shine of the paint 
it's not too much. Down the road I will experiment with some gloss medium and see what a shiny surface look like. I imagine it will look like an oil painting. But I'm really happy with this. So on to the next. Now I will be using more of this stalo green. I'm going to mix some vermilion. Here's some peach pink. Before I work on it with a brayer, I will use my color shaper to flatten out the darker colors. Again, I am alternating vertical and horizontal strokes.
Okay, again, I will leave this on for about five to six minutes. And I think the fan does help speed things up. I can tell when the plate sticks tight to the paper that the transfer is, is very successful. But there is a fine line. I have to be careful that it doesn't tear. Pretty awesome if you ask me. So it does make it worth it to wait and try not to be impatient. Give it a little time to get absorbed into the paper and do your pull. I will use some more of this Mars Black. I'm going to use this color called Dune. So I will start with the lighter color.
the black is pretty strong on this one. They really look very painterly uh, for a monoprint. Just gonna keep going. This time instead of black I will be using steel blue. This is by Lucas. Some Arctic. This cap is in the way. drama I will put vermilion and some raw sienna Clean up the edge.
see how we did here. Again, the plate is kind of sticking to the paper. I have to go slow. see if I can retrieve this ghost print.
maybe when I get my new piece of plexiglass I can avoid this because my plexiglass is only 16 by 20 The transfer is pretty awesome though. It picks up all the minute details. But it's really stuck on the plate very aggressively. But thankfully it hasn't torn yet. I, I can tell it's already my favorite. It has a lot of detail. And it has picked up all the colors and I would say 99% there's hardly anything left on the plate. Okay, one last pull. off the plate and I have to say it really does pay to wait and be patient I think this is outstanding it's one of the best pulls I've ever done I hope you agree very cool so I will air dry all of these pieces. I have four and I will recap. Okay, everybody, here's my favorite part of this video. I had to adjust my tripod because these prints are so big that uh, they don't fit in the camera frame and I'm actually standing on a platform so I can look down on the uh, screen. Anyway, this is the first pull. I actually lost count. There are actually five pieces. And here's a close-up. And I think the marks made by the black with the color shaper are very successful. There's a lot of modulation and variations of texture. And they still come out very clear. They did not over blend and they stay very distinct, which I like. So that is piece number one with the phthalo green. Now here is the second piece. This is a little more lively with the red oh, vermilion. And it is a very painterly and very complex image.
So that is piece number two. Here is the third piece. Again, it's a very painterly effect. And here on the upper left, you can see with the heavy application of paint, there's a uh, three-dimensional effect. This is piece number four. And I do like the complexity of the black marks. And here is the last piece, which I think is my favorite. I think the details are very subtle. And the colors are very clear and vibrant. And this color called Dune offers very nice contrast. I hope you liked this video. This was so much fun to do. And it was a true adventure because I had no idea of the outcome. Uh, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Please pay a visit to artwhisper88.com, which is my storefront. And all the sales of these pieces go to help keep this channel going. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you next time.